Howdy partners! Get ready y'all, cause we're back in a saddle, riding through the streets of a wild western town that I'm making along with other members of Spuduimitolag. And today, it's time to head out to the heart of my saloon, where time rolls as easy as tumbleweed in the wind. With most of the terrain done in the previous episode, now it's time for the bottom floor of this fine establishment where poker games are heating up and the stories flow as smoothly as bourbon down the throat of our patrons. So go ahead and grab a seat by the bar and get ready to immerse yourself in the spirit of the Wild West one brick at a time. And let's get started right now. <laughs> After the first episode of this series, we have our fair share of the work done already with all of the terrain nicely covered and the front base plate almost finished completely, so now it's time to start what is the true focus of this series, the saloon. I decided to split building it into two episodes since there is not much left to do after that, so today we'll be making the bottom floor which is the most fun to be honest. But before we go ahead and do that, there's one thing I need to mention. As I said multiple times, my build is just a small fraction of a much bigger collab and the whole thing will have its premiere on the weekend of 18th and 19th of November on Hobby Fair or Targi Hobby in Poznań, so if you have that opportunity, make sure to visit the exhibition and see it in its full glory there, alongside of course of many other amazing LEGO mocks made by me and my logmates. But if you can't make it, well don't worry because after the exhibition I will make a video here on the channel showcasing the whole collaboration. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss it when it's out. But now with that out of the way, let's start. So, having the first draft made last time, I decided to start with the outside deck and for that I've already laid down some tiles on which it will rest. The deck itself I made simply by stacking some reddish brown masonry bricks in a pattern that resembles wooden boards and just laid them down on both sides of the saloon. The corner part let's leave blank for now because I want to try out the walls first which are also made with masonry bricks this time in dark orange with a couple of windows and some reddish brown support beams in between. In the back one window will be smaller as I plan to do a staircase there and it would cover the whole thing so I think this will be a better option and now with the sides in place we can get back to the front deck. Here I'm using a great technique I saw some time ago which people are using mostly for roads in their LEGO cities but it works great here with inverted slopes interlocking with each other making a perfect 45 degree angle. Of course I will have to order these slopes in the correct color, but even with these placeholders it already looks great. As for the entryway, I had to stretch my brain a bit here, because making such shapes as we all know isn't that easy, but I managed to make some nice wall pieces finished with a bunch of cheese slopes to cover the corners with green shutters as the saloon doors which I think will be a good color to break the scheme while working great with the orange walls. To finish it up, I came up with a little contraption made with hinges and a broken plate making it a 1x7 one, which is just a perfect size to fit here and thanks to that it will all hold the doorway nicely in between the side walls. And this way we have the bottom facade done but before we move on let's make at least a part of the upper deck just to see how it works together. And yeah, I just couldn't ask for more. The building is already starting to look like a proper western saloon, so I'm super excited to watch it grow even more. To be honest, I first wanted to make the whole building in green, sand green to be exact, that would also look great in the town, but I had to change that idea because the train station on the right will be in that color 
and that alone would make the whole part of this town look less attractive. But now when I look at it, the dark orange has grown on me so much that I actually prefer it this way. You will never see another like it. So now with all that done, we can move on to the back of the building, first making the sports with reddish brown as in the front, and of course a frame below with medium nougat like the rest of the ground. The walls are of course made in the same style here as in the front, but with no windows since this side will be touching with another building from the town, so no need to complicate things with additional details. And with that, we have the ground floor walls finished. Hold it. Okay, I figured why not place at least a couple of small broken windows here. Maybe it will fit the bar that will be here, or maybe not. But for sure this window looks a lot better than the bigger one with white shutters that didn't actually fit at all here. So now with the supporting bricks already prepared off screen, we can start making the floor of the saloon, which I've also already have partly prepared, with a couple of plates decorated with printed tiles. The goal here is to make the whole floor with these tiles, which is something I've been looking forward to since I bought them so long ago, but the most eye-catching thing here is that none of the tiles are actually pressed down fully, so the floor looks like a rugged old saloon floor should. Now it's just a matter of outlining the bar and placing the rest of the boards and we should have one solid surface to decorate. Oh, very good, that's what I wanted to hear. Good, so let's start decorating with a piece that some of you might already be familiar with, being my old piano design from the Red Dead Rebriction mock. It's an old one, but still just a perfect piece for the saloon, so no need to make a different one. And if you want to make one for yourself, I actually have a tutorial video, so I will put it in the card and in the description below. Next are a couple of round tables made with some snot bricks, curved slopes and clips with just a couple of dishes on top and a deck of cards. It all looks good for now, but I'm a bit bothered with the blank tiles under the piano and I've already used most of my printed ones, but I think I can spare these two and yeah, it looks much better. And now the interior is finally starting to get a proper vibe, so now let's take care of the most important element being the bar. I've made this element of the bottom part with some masonry bricks just to have a nice texture here held by two snot bricks and on top of it just a simple deck with a rounded corner to give it a smoother look. Behind the bar the floor is not yet finished because like I said I don't have any more printed tiles, but I think I found a solution that you'll appreciate, but it's a sneaky one so I'll keep it in the dark for now. Now because the piano is standing where I first wanted to make the staircase, I have to figure out a new spot that will not get in the way of the view and I think this should be okay. What do you think? Of course, it's just a fast preview for now since the upper floor will be making in the next episode, but it's a good thing to plan a bit ahead, right? Come back! Okay, okay, let's get back to today's pieces because we're not done yet. So the piano of course needs a stool for the pianist, and the bartender needs his cabinet with all sorts of liquors, so I made something like this. Inspired by the saloons from Red Dead Redemption, I think it's a good piece to complete the interior. Now let's bring the bar back, add just a couple of glasses, a bowl of peanuts, a barrel of beer and the newest member of our minifigure squad being the bartender himself. Oh and of course we need a couple of chairs by the table so I took a few parts and made a quite a decent design that will complete the bottom floor nicely. Now I don't know if you noticed but in the meantime I also did the upper deck of the outside of the saloon along with a set of stairs leading up. The deck goes all around the front of the building and will of course have an entry door somewhere here, but we'll worry about that in the next episode. It's a similar design as the ground floor using masonry bricks again 
and it's supported by a couple of simple yet very nice looking pillars mounted to dual sided snod bricks from above and that's because we still need a railing added here but that too we'll make next time. And this one enough. For today I think we have enough of the progress done with the bottom floor finished almost entirely and all is looking just great both from the back as well as through the windows which is the main way that the visitors of the convention will see it. All we need now is the second floor, some kind of a light inside to make it more visible from the outside, a couple of details around the building and we're done with this mock. So before you go, let's quickly assemble the both base plates and see how the entire thing looks so far. Yeah, I think I have nothing to complain and all is looking as I was hoping for. But what do you guys think about the progress I made in this episode? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and of course smack that like button while you're down there and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I will see you in the next and final episode of this short but exciting series that will premiere probably the same time as we'll be setting up the entire street on Targi Hobbit. And while you wait on that, you can check out these two western mocks I did previously or the first episode of this series if you somehow missed it. But now, take care partners and as always, make sure you keep it breaking.